Mario has given us some of the best 3D platform installments in all of gaming. Each title in the 3D line of Mario has its own gimmick. Mario 64, Paintings, Sunshine, Flood, Galaxy, Luma, and Odyssey, Cappy. Today I'm going to nail down these games and decide which one is the best. Let's jump in. Number 9. Super Mario 64 DS. Pretty sure everyone expected this to be number 9. It doesn't add much to the original Mario 64, and yeah, that's it. Moving on. Number 8, Bowser's Fury. I'm pretty sure we all knew this was going to be number 8 as well. It's a good game slash add-on to 3D World, but it just doesn't have enough content for a full game. Although it lacks enough content, it's still a great game as an add-on, and the movement also makes it a fantastic game to speedrun. Number 7, 3D Land. Super Mario 3D Land is an absolutely fantastic game for the 3DS. It brought 3D Mario to handheld, number 9 doesn't count, and it managed to nail the cross enjoyment of 3D and 2D Mario, and I think that's why it excelled. Number 6, 3D World. Honestly, it was a toss up between Sunshine and 3D World for Spot 7, but I gave it to 3D World because I think the main 3D games are just that tiny bit better. 3D World was an absolutely amazing game. It nailed all aspects. Its multiplayer was near perfect and brought the same joy as the 2D games like Mario Bros Wii. Its music was phenomenal and the world structure and levels were designed very well. Honestly, I'd love to put this game higher, but the other games in this list just slightly have the edge. Number 5, Mario Sunshine. As I said before, this could easily switch with 3D World. However, I think Sunshine is a heavily overshadowed game due to the games it sits amongst. Playing Sunshine feels like being on a summer holiday. The music is top tier and the gameplay is... well, the gameplay is alright. Some of the controls are a bit janky, but overall, it still holds up very well. Number 4. Super Mario 64. Wait, what? He put Mario 64 at number 4? Is probably what you're saying right now. SM64 is a fantastic game, don't get me wrong. The music is beautiful and so is the level design. But the movement in this game has aged worse than a 10 year old carton of milk. It's great for speedrunning, probably the best game ever. However, I think its movement severely holds it back. For me, these next top three can be arranged in any order. They all have reasons that could put them higher up on the list, but let's continue. Number three, Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy 1 is the basis for this top three. Its soundtrack is incredible and so is the gameplay. The story in this game also provides an extra layer of depth. However, I think the top two just work on the very small adversities this game has. Number two. Super Mario Odyssey. Odyssey is one of the best to ever do it. The movement in this game is probably the best in any game ever. It's so satisfying to traverse the world as Mario. The amount of different mechanics there are to learn literally give this Mario game a skill ceiling. The music is also brilliant, but it brings a slightly different touch to the Galaxy games. But now, on to number one. Number one, Super Mario Galaxy 2. We all knew there was only one game left, and it was Galaxy 2. This game completely nails every aspect it tries. Its music improved on Galaxy 1 as it used more orchestrated music. This gave the soundtrack a more present feeling of grandiose, which is seen perfectly in Bowser's Galaxy Generator. Furthermore, the level design and movement were severely improved in Galaxy 2. It refined some clunks with the old movement, and with this we're able to create more engaging and enjoyable levels. Overall, the only part where this game slightly falters is the dumbed down story, although many people aren't playing a Mario game because of its story. So, overall, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is the greatest Mario game to date. It nails all aspects and improves on all previous games. Its soundtrack is like an ear drug, and so is its level design. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and if you're looking for more variety content, check out my second channel.